welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. And I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is William Fagans, and he is with the Divine Insurance Group, LLC. Welcome, William. How are you today? Thank you, Fran, for having me here. I'm doing oh, great. Oh, great, great. It is a pleasure to have you here. I know we were talking uh, off camera, but you do a lot of travel between New York and D.C. and Philadelphia. So I feel like quite <laughs> special that I've got you here in the seat. So thank you again. Yeah. Oh, it's my pleasure. Well, I love to always find out, this is Significant TV, what sort of got people interested in being an entrepreneur. And you shared with me earlier that you're a serial entrepreneur. So for you, what was that significant moment that had you say, you know what, I am gonna have my own business one day? You know, I was working down at the Philadelphia Marriott in mm -hmm. the early 2000s and mm -hmm. a lot of entrepreneurs came in and they were small business or medium-sized business owners. And as I was helping the system and I was a bellman, um, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I'm going to do that one day. I'm going to mm -hmm. be an entrepreneur. And I decided to give insurance services a, a try in the financial markets. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> and uh, I jumped in and within a month or two, I resigned. And uh, you resigned from being a bellman. Right. <laughs> OK, <laughs> OK. Because I, I was <laughs> concerned that you would resign. OK, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I decided to give it a chance, take mm -hmm. a risk, mm -hmm. um, and help people in my community. Wow. And I'm sure glad I did. Wow, that is a powerful story. So when you were a Bellman, you were actually going through college as well, right? Correct. Okay, where'd you go to college? I went to uh, DeVry University, Community mm -hmm. College, mm -hmm. um, and presently right now, I'm uh, attaining um, college classes at Harvard Business School mm -hmm. um, at one of their executive uh, educational programs. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And, and it, 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 but it wasn't, it, it wasn't just there, you know, at mm -hmm. college, I wanted to be a business owner. You know, I didn't mm -hmm. want to work in the hospitality industry. I wanted to make sure that I could just jump out of that mm -hmm. industry and jump mm -hmm. into something I have passion about, and that's helping people. Mm -hmm. So I was glad to jump in the insurance services and work with seniors and work with mm -hmm. younger people my age and helping mm -hmm. insure them and helping it, helping educate them mm -hmm. uh, in different institutions like churches or community events and really being an advocate to my community. So the blessing was to give back mm -hmm. from the knowledge mm -hmm. that I had, the teachers and role models that I looked up to mm -hmm. and educating myself about business entrepreneurship, business ownership. Right. And I had to think about what can I pass down? What can I inherit? Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that was a main thing that I wanted to do. And I'm so glad I did because now I'm able to inherit to pass something back down to my heirs. Mm -hmm. A few things uh, as I was listening, and, I, and of course I've done some research um, on your business. Your business is called Divine Insurance Group LLC. Mm -hmm. Why that name? Well, it's, it's always want to keep yourself in check along with your mission statement. I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that I can provide the best, you know, insurance carriers uh, that will pay claims at affordable prices that really mm -hmm. give value to our consumer base. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I would be out there, you mm -hmm. know, in the field, in the streets, seeing clients. You know, I'm not just on conference calls or just managing okay. agents. Right. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm out there too. I'm out there mm -hmm. seeing clients. I practice what I preach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to understand the products and services that are new to the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of carriers, a lot of marketing companies are really marketing to the seniors or to customer base. And it may not be the best product or maybe mm -hmm. it's overpriced or may not have the best value. So I did my research. Okay. We found the best value for the agent, you mm -hmm. know, and also for the client as well okay. for the products Good. and services that we offer. Good. Now, in addition to the name, and I, I really love that you explained that, one of the ways that I found you is that you were recently on the Philadelphia Business Journal's 40 Under 40. Mm -hmm. And several times, just in this conversation, you've identified for your age, within this age group. Why is it so important to you as a businessman to be focused on giving back to the community and making sure that people are educated? I mean, as a person under 40. Right. Why is it important? Well, it, it's very important. You want to be a positive role model. You mm -hmm. know, you want to be an advocate. And this is something that you want to do so you can also teach this 
and the people in your community. I have a financial literacy program. Mm -hmm. It was another award that I won from the Philadelphia Business Journal for mo for Rising Star, Most Admired yes. CEO, yes. Mm -hmm. you know, in Philadelphia. And it was a nine-month curriculum, and it teaches financial services, wills, trusts. Um, it, it helps with all these assistance for colleges, mm -hmm. um, uh, job preparation, business planning, to mm -hmm. give that back. Those are the things that I had to go through, mm -hmm. you know, as an upstart in business. And yes, it was a lot of hurdles that I went over, you, that I had to overcome. Mm -hmm. And I, of course, I had good people around me. I, you know, you always got to have positive people around Absolutely. you. And Absolutely. fear was one thing, but I was able to overcome fear by asking questions and finding people who specialize in, in those particular uh, uh, problems that I were facing, that I was mm -hmm. facing. So as a young adult, there was one of the challenges was, hey, w w how do I overcome this? You know, mm -hmm. I'm under 40 okay. years old. Okay. You know, how do I overcome the fear? Mm -hmm. And it was just staying positive, right. but it was my desire too, okay. to, as long as I knew that I, I can help the community and I was doing good and I was doing God's work, then I felt like you know, that that was something that was, it wasn't hard for me to overcome. So I'm glad God blessed me with the opportunity at a younger age. Mm -hmm. And I really started all of this at the age of 24. Okay, that's young, which is great, <laughs> which is great. More years to have an impact, more right. years to build a team. Of course. More years to make And a I difference. learned a lot right. along right. the way. Right. Well, congratulations on your awards. Um, again, before the cameras started to roll, you were sharing some innovation that you've been working on and that may actually change one portion of the insurance business. Do you want to talk a little bit more about your certification program? Yeah, it's yeah. a uh, the Certified Final Expense Advisor Association. Mm -hmm. I was co-founder and we developed that in September of 2015. Mm -hmm. It's the first designation, which is called the Final Expense Planning Specialist, the first okay. designation uh, in the country right now to specialize in the entire funeral planning process from mm -hmm. top to bottom of veterans benefits, the funeral rule, um, acquiring the death certificates, how insurance companies pay claims. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, if you see a barber or a beautician, you want to make sure, or a cardiologist, you want to make sure that they're a specialist. Right. So in the final expense or small uh, life insurance policies, you want to make sure that we have an expert now Mm. who understands the ins and outs and it's not just focused on a more of a sales environment just sell it to them mm -hmm. it's more of a let's be an advocate and educate them on mm. proper funeral planning helping them with free funeral planning assistance programs or mm -hmm. helping them with free will preparation mm -hmm. or um, trust programs for their mm -hmm. assets or the estate this is something that these are services we want to help them with mm -hmm. and we're doing that and we're adding college scholarships to that as well so powerful yes so powerful. it's something new in the industry and we have mm -hmm. agents that join that business mm -hmm. uh, every single day and now in the whole country, we have CFEAs, F FEPS is Final Expense Planning Specialists mm -hmm. in the whole country that are certified, you know, with their certificates. And uh, they could go out and uh, they're online at, uh, mm -hmm. at various websites. They can look them up just like Yelp on agentreview.net. Okay. Um, okay. and, and it's a great business. So again, I'm a serial entrepreneur. And this mm -hmm. is something great to show people at my age bracket. You can do this. Okay. Being a think tank taking one of my business opportunities, mm -hmm. thinking of a niche that's in the market that was mm -hmm. a void and how to scope it and scale it the right way. And that's what I did for, mm -hmm. the, uh, for the CFEA or the designation itself. We're uh, waiting right now for a cycle nutrition through a joint task analysis to get it accredited just like the CPA Powerful. or the Powerful. CFP right now. Excellent. So we're pending position to do that as well. So it's not just a certificate, but it's an actual school tool as well. I love the focus on education. I love the focus on community and making a difference. Um, share with me a story where you made a difference in someone's life by being a business, being a business person. Well, you could just take any family. I mean, I have mm -hmm. multiple families and I, I still write business myself and mm -hmm. I have a huge, uh, network of clients so mm -hmm. sometimes clients do pass away or their heirs may pass away children and mm -hmm. uh, fortunately we had a death mm -hmm. uh, in Philadelphia and it was a younger uh, teenager mm -hmm. and uh, 
the tragedy happened and good thing that they had a few hundred thousand dollars in term that I wrote up mm -hmm. for that uh, for that, that that child and it feels good to bring back a check to that family mm -hmm. and you can see the emotion behind it sure bringing them a, sure. a check you know back to them for a big amount helping them with the entire funeral preparation helping them with the death claim helping them with uh, you know, of receiving that money and giving it back to the family, the the expression that I get from that brings joy to me. Mm -hmm. What I've done and educated that family on understanding the value of insurance, right? Life right, insurance right. itself. Absolutely. So being an advocate, educating people, doing God's work, was something that was the the, the best thing that I could ever do for myself. Um, and also showing my agents, you know, the same thing as well. So that's yeah. wonderful, powerful work. Um, continue to do what you're doing. You are a leader. I can see the rising star. There's no doubt about it. Twenty four is a great place to start a business. I love that you're continuing to be serial <laughs> in your entrepreneurship. And um, it's clear that by having agents work with you, they have a chance to learn and grow and influence others. Thank you for being on our program. Oh, thank, thank you, you Fran, much. for having me. Um, I'm just going to share with folks that my guest today is William Fagans, president of Divine Insurance Group, LLC. And William, where can folks find you on the web? So they can go to divineinsurancegroup.com mm -hmm. or they can go to cfeaa.com okay. for okay. the final expense planning specialist or if they need an agent they can find a specialist okay. and they can find us Terrific. and our agents. Terrific. Well, again, congratulations for the work that you're doing. Continue to do that work. What you're doing is significant and you're making a big impact. So thank you for being on our show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And so again, it is my pleasure to present Significant TV. As you can see, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and I look forward to having you join us on our next episode.